The first president, George Bush, actually banned broccoli from Air Force One in 1990. Apparently, he considered the vegetable an axis of evil. Food Network chef Ellie Krieger says broccoli and its cousin cauliflower are actually good eats. Beautiful and emerald. There are dozens of ways to prepare broccoli and cauliflower that just make them uh, delectable. Krieger agrees with the song that says the president was so wrong. Here we go. It's a real cool veggie and it comes to you in dark leafy green. Brussels sprouts, cabbage are all cool because of a range of health benefits. They're called cruciferous vegetables and also include broccoli sprouts, collards, kale, radishes, and turnips. They all contain many healthy substances, including indole-3-carbonyl, or I3C. Scientist David Williams and his grad student David Castro have been giving mother mice I3C in an attempt to prevent cancers in their offspring. Those cancers come from air pollution. You generate these polycyclic aromatic hydrocarbons, which are carcinogens. In other words, burning fossil fuels like gasoline and especially coal can cause certain cancers. Here's what happens. Burning produces polycyclic aromatic hydrocarbons, or PAHs, that spread through the air. Then we breathe them in or actually eat them. They get deposited on, on plants and, uh, and then those plants get eaten by animals and, and actually when you look at the source of pHs, the major source uh, is dietary for us. PAHs are believed to be a major cause of childhood cancers, including leukemia. The mothers are exposed to the substances which then reach the babies in the womb. So where are the increasing levels of these carbon particles coming from? China is burning more coal than the U.S., the entire European Union, and Japan put together. And one new coal plant comes online uh, every week, large enough to light up the city of Dallas. And because of the way atmospheric winds work, those PAHs released in China eventually drift over to the U.S. and then across the country. Knowing all this, Williams began researching the effect of I3C given to mother mice exposed to PAHs. He found that the I3C provided a very high level of protection against lymphoma and leukemia in the young animals. It even protected against lung cancer during the rodent's equivalent of middle age. Not only that, the cancer protection may pass from mother to child to grandchild. Even if they don't consume the cruciferous vegetables or the indole 3 carbonyl themselves. Um, but we don't know that for sure yet. But uh, if I was a betting man, that's, that's what I'd bet on. That means it's possible human moms eating broccoli could provide cancer prevention to their grandkids, even if those kids didn't eat cruciferous vegetables. Being practical, Castro wants to see if the I3C and broccoli from the grocery store get the same results. I don't know if we can get mice to eat broccoli, I'm not sure. <laughs> <laughs> a bigger question? Can you get a child to eat broccoli and other healthy vegetables? Maybe at the market you can um, have your child pick the vegetable for the meal that day, have them help you prepare the meal. Um, my daughter loves broccoli. We call it little trees in my house, and she kind of pretends she's a giraffe eating them, and she absolutely loves it. Krieger, author of The Food You Crave, says another strategy is to hide cooked cauliflower. Sometimes I will uh, puree some cauliflower in with my mashed potatoes. And it's barely detectable, actually, but it sort of lightens the mashed potato and makes it um, so much healthier. But don't overcook. When you cook these vegetables too long, they can actually develop sort of a sulfurous compound and make them taste s s slightly bitter. Another issue in the U.S. is that vegetables aren't seen as a priority. But they don't really... Um, gussy up the vegetable because they just sort of think of it as like, okay, that's the vegetable. But I think to put it into a highlight without too much effort by adding some garlic, for example, to the broccoli or by roasting the cauliflower and then sprinkling a little nutmeg on it. Meanwhile, Williams is working to discover how to get the biggest health benefit from cruciferous vegetables by turning off the genes that contribute to cancer and turning on the genes that protect against it. If we can do that, that that's going to be really cool. <laughs> so check out the cruciferous vegetables at your grocery. 
you might just find purple cauliflower pretty on your plate. Galen Tethro, CBN News.